What's up guys, The Real Damon Jackson here, and this is my second attempt at a cloud chamber. I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing wrong, but sorry I haven't filmed in a while. But, um, so I have my light here, and I have a pan, a couple chunks of dry ice, and I have my radioactive... Oh, and I have the alcohol with toilet paper on it up in there. I have uh, some rocks, some radioactive ore, and to the left of that, I have that americium from the smoke detector. And on top, I have a uranium vase. Uran yeah. So, I just put that in there for extra measure. Hoping we might see some kind of particle fly through. The alcohol keeps dripping on that block of dry ice and it's making a sizzling sound. I'll see if I'll catch something on camera. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything in real life either. By the way guys, if you're going to try this yourself, you will definitely want um you definitely want to use a plastic container. <laughs> Don't try glass. Glass will break with the dry ice. Um sorry I'm talking like this. I I have uh some allergies right now, and I'm also trying to talk really low. Might go grab a different container because this one is not working. And I know those rocks are pretty radioactive. I think I'll go try a different configuration of this. I'll catch you in a second. Be back so I'm back here is the third container that I'm that I tried I didn't film the, the second one because it was just bad but uh I think this one looks better actually it's more aesthetically pleasing on the outside but does it function so basically the charged particles coming off of the radioactive substances are going to fly through the alcohol vapor and they should oh crap yeah that that was gonna end in disaster that that thing almost came off yikes yeah that, that was gonna move right off there but uh basically it should hit the alcohol vapors and charge them and then other molecules will attract, making a a sort of a, a track in midair that you can see. And you can look up other videos online about this. And it's it's really sad because I've tried this before, and I just cannot manage to ever see one. I don't know. It's uh, it's dry ice. Is it in the right formation? I don't know. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I just wish somebody would tell me what I'm doing wrong. Ouch. can get kind of cold. Yeah, I'll put it closer. I'll put the, the radioactive stuff closer to the dry ice. Um... I'll be right back because I'm going to tape that up more. 
Give me a second. Well, this is horrible. I, I can't get this thing taped. And I really don't want to touch it that much because I also put methanol on it. And that's <laughs> that's a toxic type of alcohol. So um, I don't know what to do now. I guess I'll keep trying. I have a giant block of dry ice over there. So I don't know. I'm going to do more research and... See if I can't figure something out. I don't even, I don't know why I'm uploading this. I guess you guys can try to give me some advice or something. But <laughs> I just dropped my phone. Oops. Um. But yeah, I don't know why. Why? I just want to figure this out desperately because I really want to see some subatomic particles, especially for my own radioactive stuff. I think that'd just be so cool. But, uh, anyways, throw me some advice, and I'll try to do some more research, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Watch, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, and goodbye.